Welcome, Wasteland Wanderers. Today, we embark on an epic journey through the Commonwealth as we uncover the must-have Fallout 4 mods for August 2023. Today, instead of Leona, I will be briefing. I'm very happy to be standing in front of you like this. I hope you all enjoy watching. Anyway, grab your Pip-Boy and prepare to explore the untamed wilderness of Fallout 4 with these game-changing mods. Let's dive in! Allow me to introduce the first mod, BOCW Milano 821. This mod adds the BOCW Milano 821, also known as the Sosimi Type 821, to the world of Fallout 4, complete with extensive customization options, leveled list integration, and custom animations. The Type 821 is a submachine gun of Italian origin. Developed and marketed by Sotimi, it entered the firearms business through a joint venture with arms manufacturer Luigi Franchi. The creator drew significant inspiration from the design of the Israeli Uzi when crafting the Type 821. The receiver's design allows it to be lighter than the Uzi, and the side folding stock provides enhanced user friendliness. This blowback operated firearm features a top mounted charging handle and a grip safety on its pistol grip. Craftable at the chem bench and obtainable from vendors as quest rewards and from formidable bosses after reaching level 25. Next up, let me introduce you to the mod blocking overhaul. Blocking overhaul completely transforms the blocking system in Fallout 4 at the engine level. The primary goal of this mod is to redefine how blocking operates in the game. Previously, players were able to block attacks from all enemies, but with this mod, that changes. Specifically, attacks from exceptionally powerful foes like Deathclaws, Super Mutant Behemoths and Maya Lurk Queens can no longer be blocked at all. These fearsome creatures are so formidable that attempting to block their attacks is no longer a viable option. Moreover, the mod introduces varying levels of damage reduction when blocking attacks from different enemies. Human enemies can be blocked to 100%. However, in the case of a terrifying creature, it may not be completely blocked. Overall, Blocking Overhaul aims to make the game's blocking mechanics more challenging and realistic by limiting the player's ability to block attacks from particularly formidable foes. Prepare for a more intense and engaging combat experience. Next, let me introduce you to the mod Disable Exit Save. Disable Exit Save is a simple yet useful mod that addresses a common inconvenience in Fallout 4. By default, the game automatically creates a save every time you exit without providing any option to disable this feature. However, with this mod installed, Exit saves are disabled, so you no longer need to view exit saves files. Next up, we have the Rooftops mod. If you are looking to explore the Commonwealth from a fresh perspective, this mod is perfect for you. The Rooftops introduces a plethora of new locations high up on the rooftops and balconies of the city. You'll uncover hidden spots and unique connections between rooftops that were previously overlooked. Moreover, the mod presents additional creative methods to traverse these elevated landscapes. Utilize vents, planks and pipes to scale the heights and uncover odd places that were once out of reach. Along your rooftop adventure, keep an eye out for 15 frisbees scattered throughout the city. Each frisbee you collect grants you a plus one action point regeneration, providing a unique incentive to explore and seek out these hidden treasures. With the Rooftops mod, your journey in the Commonwealth will take a thrilling turn as you embrace a new perspective, discover hidden gems, and explore the city like never before. So buckle up and get ready for an exciting rooftop adventure. Next, let me introduce you to the Tibos Antohepac mod. The Antohepac is an extraordinary collection of hairs ported from The Sims 4 by the talented creator Anto. This mod brings a vast array of stunning hairstyles, making it a treasure trove for hair enthusiasts. One remarkable aspect of this collection is the hair color diversity, with some hairstyles featuring different shades, adding a touch of uniqueness to your character's appearance. With this mod, you'll have access to an extensive selection of hairstyles carefully curated from Anto's work. 
These hairs come with physics, ensuring a natural and realistic movement that enhances your character's overall appearance. What's more, many of these hairstyles are unisex, meaning they can be used by both male and female characters, allowing for even more versatility in your character customization. Whether you're seeking elegant updos, chic bobs, flowing locks, or anything in between, the T-Boss Anto Hair Pack has got you covered. Get ready to explore a world of style and creativity as you mix and match these stunning hairstyles to fashion a truly unique and personalized character in your Fallout 4 adventure. Next, let me introduce you to the Lewd Outfit mod. The Lewd Outfit adds a touch of sensuality to the Commonwealth while still maintaining a vanilla-friendly style for female characters. This outfit features a combination of a leather jacket adorned with bolt marks, leather gloves, and thigh protectors, all designed to blend seamlessly into the world of the Commonwealth. Crafting this alluring outfit is a breeze, as you can find all its components at the Chem Labs under Lewd Outfit. Additionally, the leotard jacket comes with a variety of textures to choose from, allowing you to tailor the appearance to your liking using the armor bench. Next up, let me introduce you to the Arby's Bodysuit N3 mod. Arby's Bodysuit N3 brings a sleek and stylish black bodysuit to the Commonwealth. Originally designed for Skyrim, this outfit has been skillfully ported to Fallout 4 with the original creator's permission. This bodysuit features an alluring black leather design with a leather belt cinched around the waist, accentuating the curves of your character's figure. The combination of the orange stitching and the leather belt adds a touch of sophistication, making this outfit a true standout in the wasteland. Next up, let me introduce you to the Hunting Rifle Reanimation mod. The Hunting Rifle Reanimation is a game-changing mod that gives the vanilla hunting rifle in Fallout 4 a much-needed modern makeover. Say goodbye to lackluster animations and welcome a whole new level of realism and fluidity. This mod completely improves the overall reload and fire animation of hunting rifles. Gone are the days of clunky and outdated movements. With hunting rifle reanimation, you'll experience smooth and realistic animations that bring your weapon to life. Immerse yourself in the world of Fallout 4 like never before as you witness the sleek and polished animations that make the hunting rifle feel like a true powerhouse on the battlefield. Each shot and reload will now be a satisfying and seamless experience, making your gameplay even more enjoyable. Next, let me introduce you to the Cold War MP5 mod. The Cold War MP5 mod brings a legendary weapon from Black Ops Cold War right into the heart of the Commonwealth. Get ready to wield the iconic MP5, fully customizable and equipped with ported sounds, animations and models for both first and third person views. Step into the shoes of a Cold War era operative and immerse yourself in the thrilling action with this well-crafted firearm. Whether you're taking down raiders, fending off super mutants, or engaging in intense firefights, the Cold War MP5 will be your trusty companion throughout your journey in the Commonwealth. Not only does the Cold War MP5 look stunning, but it also offers extensive customization options. Tailor the weapon to suit your playstyle by adding attachments and modifications at the chemistry station. This level of versatility allows you to adapt the MP5 to any situation you encounter in the wasteland. And there you have it, fellow wanderers. Chapter 1 of our incredible Fallout 4 mod showcase comes to an end. We hope you've enjoyed this glimpse into the boundless possibilities that modding brings to the Commonwealth. If you're hungry for more exciting mods and want to see what else the Wasteland has to offer, stay tuned for the upcoming chapters in this series. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update from our channel. Thank you for joining us and until next time, stay safe out there, Vault Dwellers.